Hi, I am Kishore, Lead Power System Engineer at Power Projects. Follow me on LinkedIn by clicking this link for more PSK related content. Let's get started in this video. So in this video, we are going to see uh, how we are modeling the sources and how we are validating the sources. Because we know like in PSK, each and every equipment needs to be validated like sources, transformer, transmission line, cable, such as a right? So the similar way here we are going to model the sources and we are going to validate the sources. So before that we will just create a new file. Like in previous video what we have seen like how we have created a file the same way we are just going to create a file. So I am giving a file new and the giving as a file type as a case the name as a source. I am clicking as a create button. So now we have created a new project file. We, now we are going to copy the source from the master library and we are going to paste in our project file in the schematic tab. So in the master library you can see there are many live equipment is there. So to which equipments, to which boxes we need to go it's like the source. So when you just go into the sources you can find there are many type of sources there like voltage sources, current sources. Then like a uh, harmonic uh, generators, uh, this harmonic signal generators, battery is there, uh, like a uh, photovoltaic source is there, current source is there. Okay. So when you come to the voltage sources, there are like different models of voltage sources is there. Like this is like model 2, model 1, model 3, like different different types of voltage source model is there. Each type of model which has a unique thing. For example, if it is like here, you can see this is model 2. All the thing it is model 2 only, just a different view is there. In model 2, you can see the frequency as well as the voltage it can be controlled externally of the sources. So, whatever the value which you are giving here, it will not uh, consider. It will be considered when you are connected an external one, it will take the frequency and voltage, the value which you are giving here. And here you can see the type. What is the type of the source? Whether it like a resistive source, inductive source, capacitive source, or combination of RLC, or only with the ideal source like R, like which is like grid without impedances. So all the thing is voltage source model two only. Just a view is only is different here. The same way model one and model three. So now we will just take our voltage source model three. Why means? This model will be similar to the of model that we are using on the other tools just like ETAP or uh, Excel and Factory. Because this is like a Thevenin source model, the voltage that is like so voltage source that is like grid with impedances, but it's like a positive sequence impedances as well as zero sequence impedances. Both the positive and zero sequence impedances it can be modeled in the voltage source model 3. So when I just copy and paste it to the, our schematic tab, that is our project file. What are the equipment, what are the things you can see, parameters you can see, voltage, frequency, base MVA and positive sequence, uh, resistance and reactance value, R plus X value and the voltage and pH sentiment angle that we can control through external control. So when you just go inside these sources, voltage source model 3, you can see this is a source name, you can, uh, we can give the source name. For example, I am giving it as a grid itself and base MVA it is 100 MVA base. And line to line voltage RMS value, I'm taking it as a 230 kV itself, and frequency in it as a 50 Hz as a frequency. Voltage input time constant. What is this voltage input time constant? Now we are just coming to the configuration tab, source name, base in view, voltage frequency is clear. What is that voltage input time constant? Voltage input time constant is nothing but the time here you can see at 0 0.05 seconds only, the voltage will be tried to reach a steady state values. For example, if we give the 0 seconds itself, the 230 kV value. Of the source, the system will come at zero seconds itself. If we put at 0 0.05 seconds, the time to reach the voltage of 230 kV, it will take 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05 seconds only. It will take the time to reach the value of 230 kV. 230 kV, the 2 0.05 seconds, the 230 kV value will be will be this voltage will be tried to build up. Now coming to the infinite, is it now the infinite bus is no. If we give the infinite buses no, it is showing you can see the impedance data format as well as the 0 seconds default values now it is enabled. Here, all, here also you can see it is enabled. When you give the infinite buses yes, it will you can see it is disabled now. It will take the source without impedances. The source without impedances. Okay. So now we are going to model a source with impedances that is grid with impedances. So I am taking my infinite buses and no. 
and it is asking zero sequence differ from positive sequence that is nothing but if the client provided the grid or remote and succession value of a three phase short circuit current as well as single phase short circuit current both the values different means we can keep the zero sequence differ from positive sequence as yes yes my three phase value and single link to ground fault current short circuit current value is different so i need to enter the value of both the zero sequence impedances value as well as positive sequence impedances value because it is differ from positive sequence value so when you keep it as a no it will take the value of positive sequence itself it will assume it will take the value of positive sequence zero sequence value take the value of positive sequence value itself now let us enter now let us keep the zero sequence values different from positive sequence value both the three phase short circuit current and single line to ground fault short circuit current values different of the uh, remote and substitution of the grid bus grid grid values now impedance data format impedance data format you can see it is showing in real imaginary or magnitude angle what is real imaginary magnitude angle real imaginary if you keep this as a real and imaginary you can enter those values in the resistance and reactance in ohms value r plus x value if you if you if you put in impedance data format as a magnitude and angle you can enter the impedance and phase angle values here magnitude and angle now we will just keep it our input set of format in real and imaginary we will enter the resistance and reactance values in home and the graphics display it is single in view or three phase view it is three phase view means we can see a phase a phase b phase c phase all the thing we need to be connect through the wire like this we need to connect through the wire and you should, you cannot able to connect directly this wire to the three phase transformer or three phase equipments because it is single in view we need to use this three phase to single in converter we need to use this three phase to single in converter through this only we can able to you can able to do this so in this case we will just make this graphics display as a three phase view to a single line view itself okay then we can able to connect directly this single line into the other equipments like a, right so graphics display single line view and graph display details if you keep it as no the information will not be displayed the parameters the information will not be displayed if you keep it as yes the information parameter will be displayed here now coming to the positive sequence impedance zero sequence impedance here we can see it is resistance in ohms and reactance in ohms right so we need to find out the values of resistance and reactance ohms values because in some case they will not able to provide the resistance and reactance in ohms value of the grid or uh, remote and substitution short circuit current values fault current contribution values if you provide in short circuit current contribution kilo ampere and x bar ratios we can we can need to find we need to by using our manual calculation we need to find out the resistance and reactance of ohms value and we need to enter it here so i made a manual calculation sheet here if you want to if you want to get this manual calculation ping me in uh, linkedin personally i'll just share you the uh, calculation sheet so this voltage value let us take my system voltage grid voltage is 230 kv and single line to ground line to neutral voltage is 132.79 frequency is 50 hertz and i am assuming the three phase short circuit as a 40 kilo ampere and single line to ground short circuit as a 20 kilo ampere and x bar ratio for both is 10 so x bar ratio is a 10 i am just assuming both so now coming to the coming to that now we have taken the frequency 50 hertz 230 kv 100 mba base and uh, three phase short circuit current and single line to ground short circuit current and x bar ratio we have taken now from that we have from this manual cal from this formula we just find out the resistance and reactance of positive sequence and zero sequence and x uh, resistance and reactance of positive sequence i find out so i will just copy this one i will just paste it into our uh, this is uh, positive sequence resistance value and this is positive sequence reactance value and this is resistance like a zero sequence resistance value and this is zero sequence reactance value so now we have done with the uh, source model so here you can see the voltage and angle is there so we need to connect the external one what we can connect here you can see that in components data and input output there are two things is there one was integer constant other is like real constant if you want to put a decimal values like 1.5 or 2.5 like point decimal values you can use this real constant now we are not able going to put any decimal values i am taking this voltage is as the same value of 230 kv so whatever the value you put here 230 kv it won't consider because we have taken an external one so to ex for example if you put 245 kv it will take only 245 kv will not consider 230 kv because uh, we have taken an external one of voltage so 230 kv as a voltage and angle i am just taking as a uh, one one of uh, one, one magnitude of 0 degree so angle i'm saying again as a zero degree now we are done with the source modeling thanks for watching this video and i hope this video find useful for more pscat related content subscribe to our channel and if you want to start learning basics of pscat check out the beginners course link in the description and pin first comment thank you all